handles it and shit mm. like that. Lock rolls. Oh, holy hell, I got a fantastic headache right now. Where's my character? The fuck am I? Oh god, I'm, I'm dead! Care. That's a good question, where the hell am I? I can't even find myself! I, you guys are back on the other map. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. the like, why are we overworld gone? map. The overworld map, you guys are not on the, uh, what's it called map anymore. The catacombs. Okay. The catacombs I, like, I moved off. I disappeared. Oh, shit. I, you don't have your token anymore, because I have it. <laughs> Yay, it's, oh, it's good. I'm lucky today. Kind of. Copy. I'll have your token in a second. What say is luck roll? Say doesn't get a luck roll. She's not in combat anymore. There you go. Fritz luck rolls. Automatically. Passive. God, I've done a lot of weekly long recap episodes. If I did a luck roll for... Uh, Sorry. 18. She gets plus 5 because it's saving throw. <laughs> oh, so she matches mine. I don't know how to take that burp. <clears throat> but yes, uh, as we left off, you guys have reached, or uh, just exited the... The cavern and are now on your way back to the ship. Who's dragging Stormhammer? Right, well, I'm crippled. I have an excuse. I think we just kick him awake. I'm awake. Oh, hey, are I'm you sure? sure? We can <laughs> kick you some more. Are you sure that's the healthiest way to wake someone up? That, that yeah. Mean. Well, it worked. <laughs> it's fine. I can sure. hear you, people. What are you planning? Planning anything. I can back out. There was something about kicking. No, that's something they already did. Yeah. Oh. You just have boot shaped oh. fucking imprints all over your body. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of this one time. No, it doesn't. Let's go. Well, I, I could. I, can I not tell the story? I was just in a tavern, and you know, there was this lady, and I think a couple of horses were involved. No, no, I think we're good. Or was it a pony? I bet it was a pony. But seriously, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Saya like does not uh, disagree. Hold on, I guess see what Tyler's name. Oh, okay. Fuck that. You guys board the ship, and <clears throat> uh, who's going where? I need to know for future events. Uh, I'm going to go back on the ship. Of course you're going um, back on the ship. Uh, well, if she's ship asking going? immediately what place we're going to... Uh, I kind of, I want to know if like uh, if certain people are going to be with, going to stay, you know, kind of like hang out, hang around where Say is going to be hanging out, or are you guys going to, like... Uh, uh, Paleth, uh, I know you like to just sit on the deck and do nothing. Um, Gaddon, you're like, I don't know where you would normally hang out. Hall Hallam's been normally on the deck. I used to hang out in the war room. Okay. Uh, I just want to know where you guys are actually going. I'm going to see if no... I can... Go ahead. If there's no meeting, I'm on the deck, as you said. No, not te not exactly no meeting. Okay. Just... I'm going to see if I can find someone who can teach me a bit about the... Um... The history of these people and well, you also have the your own you have your own MacGuffin with uh, Malik now. <laughs> uh, what? You have your own MacGuffin as far as that goes with Malik now. The, I don't. Yeah, think he was a, Malik is now the, one of the though, right? Oh yeah. Malik. All right, I haven't noticed that yet. <laughs> yes. Your perception well, is. Uh, I'm gonna learn about. I'm gonna learn their history and also learn more about how Saya came to came to power because that seems like an intriguing story. Okay, so you're following around Saya. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Chris, where are you going off to? Uh, I'll probably be tagging along behind around Saya's general location as well. Okay. Uh, well, I'm kind of looking for a chance to talk to her. Okay. Uh, you're looking for, like, a one-on-one -on -one conversation? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Waylon, 
Uh, nice. I'm just going to hold in my room, I think, just because typically on these airships, I either get knocked over or water or vomited on. No, so you I'm get. Gonna... I don't think you've been vomited on on an airship yet. I, I think true. you've been vomited on getting onto an airship. This is true. But either way, safest place seems to be my room right now. Okay. Does so any, anybody's character feel sick at the moment? Not particularly. I got a beastly Damn. fortitude. I'm feeling fine. Actually, roll a fortitude check. I want to see how well you're holding your liquor right now. Endurance. And, then. yeah, run, uh, an, endur an endurance, along with the hangover. Do, do, do. Well, I, I started drinking again, so it should dissipate soon. That's how you get rid of hangovers, man. You start drinking. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm doing fine. You're fine. I was hoping you crit fail, and then I had to roll a 1d20 to see if you throw up on Waylon. <laughs> Can't you do it anyway? <laughs> DM, yeah. I well, he rolled too high for, for an endurance for that. Like, He's got years of experience when it comes to drinking. I think he'll be fine. Okay, uh, Tyler, where are you going? Engineering. Uh, yeah. Engineering room. Okay, so the engine room. <clears throat> Man, you're like fucking Tally in Mass Effect, and no one ever enjoyed having to go all that fucking way. <laughs> I was about to say. Fine, Tally. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always like, God, fucking Tally is bullshit. It's the, the only fucking... one down there that you need to talk to. The most no. inconvenient fucking location. <laughs> fucking cunt whistle. Just doing some calibrations. <laughs> fucking Tally. All right. But she's so beautiful in that <laughs> one picture they stock photoed. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> what? The so picture you, you actually get to see her face. No. You get to see a badly photoshopped stock photo of her face. Oh, that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, you guys yes. board the airship, and uh, as normal, it vibrates as it slowly rises into the air. And um, everybody kind of splits off to go their own, uh, own separate ways. Uh... I'm forgetting names already. Uh, Alexis and Stormhammer keep with Saya as she goes up to the, uh, basically like the, uh... Bridge? The... The captain's quarters. The, the captain's cabin. Yes. And she looks down at, uh... Looks down at Alexis and goes, So, where do you think we should be headed next? Well, if we can get in contact and find where that other dagger is, closing the central portal and trend is obviously the best idea. If not, there are some people who we may want to look at the eliminating before they cause more problems for us. Uh, and those people might be who? There was a man by the name of Cormat and a mage by the name of... Uh, Marina May. They're thus far, uh, as we know, trust. as we know, they're the only two people who have betrayed humanity in order to help the Valra or the Delhi. Help us? Why would they be helping us now? Um, I've already, I've already heard of this, this Marina May. I haven't gotten a evil vibe from him just yet, but I've yet to meet him in person. Uh, one of our next destinations was. Uh, as as a race were was to Thundercrust. I can confirm firsthand his intentions. I will not tell you. The irony of the great evil is they're the best at hiding it. How oddly poetic. I'm sorry. Roll an intelligence check to see if you would even say that. <laughs> Oh, bullshit! <laughs> 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 like, fails if you return. He's just like, cats have long tail! <laughs> fucking reality <laughs> shipped and they didn't actually say it. <laughs> Everyone just turns and like, well, that's Stormhammer. <laughs> that's oh, our Stormhammer! <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, you can say it, but... Uh, <laughs> In future references, I might make you roll an intelligence check or you try and say something extremely Aww. intelligent. <laughs> you try to use your brain muscles. <laughs> I think it's very fitting for Stormraver to have moments of poetic genius. <laughs> people can be extremely poetic, I'll have you know. Yes, but not Stormhammer. 
A bullshit. What's wrong with Star Hammer being smart every now and then? He tried to kill a hooker. <laughs> so, smart people do that from time to time. You think fucking Stephen Hawking hasn't killed his fair share of hookers? Don't you know who Ted Bundy was? From his robot chair. I, I like to imagine. I don't know if he's gotten that chair, man. I like to imagine Stormhair's actually having this argument with the voices in his head. <laughs> Say that? Hey, just because I'm drunk doesn't mean I can't be poetic. <laughs> Lex is just staring at him like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm moving on. Never compliment him again. So exactly where well, shall our, our next destination be? Uh, it's at the moment right now, I, we are not finding anything of the Dal High in this part of the uh, country. Well... <sighs> Your trackers, how are they able to sense the portals? Just picking up on a particular magic, or can they can, can they sense a general large swell of magic? Uh, with our, you're talking about our cylinders. Yes. Our cylinders, base, yes, pull in the actual energy of the uh, the the gateways themselves. Do you have any way of sensing large magical, not large sources of magical energy? Magical energy, energy that's not related to our portals. Yes. We could modify the pillars to do that, but well, we have nothing currently in in the works yet at the moment. Well, Marina May is probably in Thundercrest, but I can't guarantee that for sure. And he is formidable enough a threat on his own that I don't want to be walking into a situation where we can't know who's going to be able to take first action. I want to ensure we're not falling victim to the element of surprise. I'm going to gently tug on... Uh, because I can't prick her shoulder, I'm going to tug on a Alexis's, like shirt. going to be like... Uh, like a little kid. Eh, on cookies. Why do you need to... Why are you wondering if you can tune it into different kind of magics? Wouldn't Cypher be able to help with that? Captain McGuffin. Cypher? Yeah, isn't he the big, powerful mage? Uh, she hasn't met him. <clears throat> oh, right. Well, this is... He's a big, powerful mage. He's the one who sent us teleporting at me and Geddon. Apparently, he's, you know, the most powerful mage in the land. Well, it can hurt to try then. And... and he is, as far as we know, he was at least in trend when we left. So if we're going that way, we could try and meet up with him, see if he can tell us anything. So what are you looking for? In the other? She already said what she was looking for. She's yeah. looking for uh, Marina May to find his exact location. This is another very powerful mage. A stronger one, too, if I recall. Well, if he's... <laughs> that powerful, then Cypher would probably know something about this person. Powerful yeah. men just like to keep track of each other. In all likelihood, yes. I suppose since we don't really know where he is, seeking the aid of the strongest mage on the planet might be the best option to Mr. keep Mr. ourselves from being surprised by him. Mr. Yeah, we have to a good to man. And we have to go to Trend anyways. I'm more than likely sure he would help out. Well then, by all means, it's uh, not waste our time. We could also, if that does not seem to work, uh, on our on my trip to Thundercrest, I could alert you guys if he is there or not. Because there are there is a high likelihood I would run into him while I'm there. I mean, if you run into him there, if you have the opportunity, kill him before you even bother telling us. That would not make our diplomatic, diplomatic trip very uh, appeasing to the people. If he no, is that powerful I... and dangerous, he needs to be exposed for what he is. Randomly killing him will just incite hatred for them. I don't trust him, though. I'll never trust a mage. 
You only do practice magic. That was the sound of Alexis giving him a very cold stare. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. Now, what I find weird, at least questionable, is that we only found one gateway on this part of the continent. And it wasn't even complete. It didn't even honestly seem that close to being complete. Now, most on these, most of the portals we've ever run into have been completely operational for at least decades. This is the first time I've ever seen one in mid-creation. What do you think that means? Honestly, I have no idea. There was little to little to no security within the area. Also, we're not picking up of any Dell High presence outside of that area, and they seem to not even have enough um, reconstructors to even finish what they were starting. I mean, we've scanned this entire continent or this entire peninsula. And it was the only portal we found. If their goal is to spread from the north and the south, and then or take over the north and south, and then spread from the middle, the only other possible place they could be trying to spread from would be Torn Vale. But that's a much smaller city. So much ground to cover. It's going to be extremely hard to cover all all of it. Could it be that they didn't have enough of an energy source to finish it? Oh, they they have the energy to do this. Well, how long does it take to build one of these things? Do we even know? Days. Two, three. At the max, four. That's not very comforting. On a larger scale, uh, for the for the like a, a, the size of a main portal, uh, a month maybe. So we could very well fast be running out of time. Yes, definitely. Uh, as you guys lift up over the air, you see that the actual uh, the glow that came from Tanafir City has now dissipated, and um, the magic radiance that you guys were feeling from it uh, has now completely left. Well, this is all a bit too heavy for me, and strategizing isn't really my big thing, so I'm going to leave you two to it. I quickly bow and take my leave. She nods. Actually, I'm going to go find Geddon. I'm going to spar with him some more. Help him with his training. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to pull any bullshit this time. Uh-huh. That'd be funny if you did. He'd be like, don't, never let your guard down, and then you get thrown off the boat by some weird force. <laughs> And I hear Cypher's voice calmly in my ear. <coughs> Snickering. <laughs> tee hee. I don't think Cypher's the guy to go tee hee. I don't know. Ah uh ha. -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go find Geddon. Where is Geddon, anyways? Uh, uh -huh. Geddon is in the uh, war room. Okay, so I'm gonna find him. I'm just looking over maps and you know, that sort of thing. What you doing, Madigan? Uh, it's just too easy. This, you know, this whole this whole section of the countryside, we find a handful of Dalahide guarding a half-finished portal. They're coming from somewhere. They had enough force to crush my city in a this month, and then to crush Tanafir in a day. Where are you they the coming whole, from? Do you think the whole thing could have been a distraction? Destroying Stormguard and Tanifer was a distraction? No, no I'm to... talking about the gate that we just... or the unfinished gate. Yeah, it was, it's honestly rather small even for a distraction. But it did lead us to it anyways. Uh, it was unfinished, unused, barely guarded. 
it's almost like an afterthought or a small outpost on the edge of nowhere. And to you guys, I did their, look, Sorry, go ahead. We have to find where they're actually coming from. And to you, uh, to both of you, or everybody on the team in the group, uh, it did look new. It doesn't look like it was something that they they were that was abandoned that they're trying to fix or finish now. It looks like something was freshly started. Hmm, perhaps they're only yeah. just starting to move into this area. Either way, we stopped it. You know, pouring over all those maps isn't going to help us right now. It's, you want to get some sparring and training in? Uh, you had a good nap, I see. Uh, I had a very good nap. All right, perhaps I should get some fresh air. Uh, I'm not going to pull anything stupid this time. Really? It wouldn't, be, uh, uh, wouldn't seem like you if you didn't. I haven't had enough to drink yet. Ah, I see. You know, maybe later. Yes, I'm setting up the premise that I might do something stupid later. Oh, you had, you had to set that up? Oh, no. Yes, Get because now that, then I have a defense. No, you don't. <laughs> For the stupid things your character does, there is no defense. There's oh. nothing stupid about kicking you lost, down a hooker's door. Yep, you lost your defense when you kicked down a hooker's door. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be fair, hookers aren't really people. So uh, they shouldn't they shouldn't get all the same rules. They get rules when you kick down their door. Oh, that reminds me of something a friend of mine once said. And then invade their house. And then, then they then offend themselves. By firing wildly in your general direction. Not wildly, she hit. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and she has a 50% accuracy rate. I'm not impressed. <clears throat> yes. And she didn't hit anything vital. Nah, she clubbed him in the shoulder. Uh, yeah. The ship uh, starts to turn towards the uh, the west and begins to gain speed. Uh, Saya looks down at, at Elex and says, There was nothing else in Ardent City that you wished to um, procure? I believe we've gotten everything. Though, to be safe, maybe we should uh, check out Tornvale before we leave the south completely. I shall agree. Would you like to accompany me to the uh, to the deck? Sure. Uh, you guys both ha walk off to where the um, pretty much like the the main control of the ship is, <clears throat> and I believe Geddon and Mal or uh, Geddon and Storm whatever is gonna fight each other to the deck. Well, uh, fuck you too, buddy. Hallam, uh, you are doing nothing. Yeah, mostly holding up in my room. Paleth, you are doing nothing. Essentially. Why'd I even ask? No. Uh, okay, I think everybody's covered. Uh, Malik, you are doing what? <laughs> oh. Uh, tinkering and reading through, or not reading, but listening to audio files and Becoming a Val Rai, Chapter 1. Roar. You might be wondering why you have no penis anymore. <laughs> you might be wondering why you have fur, why you didn't have fur before. <laughs> chapter 1. The tail is not a plaything. Val Rai don't poop. They actually have a much more painful process of eliminating the waste in their bodies. And it goes through the mouth. Like, oh, no. what have I signed up for? You shit out your Hey, Helm! I need you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you need me for? <laughs> he needs to Stand shit vomit on you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the ship starts to pick up speed. It starts to head up to the to the west. Brum, brum, brum. I don't think that, an airship sounds like that. That's what it sounds like in my mind. We're <laughs> <laughs> the trend. Broom. No. Uh, if you were with the rest, you would know where you're going, but you don't, so. <laughs> well, if Say is coming up on deck, I'm going to have to, like, strut my stuff. Oh, my. 
Please do. I'm gonna be like flexing and shit. She's gonna look down at uh, Alexis and go, "He's an odd one. He's built like a fucking mountain." You can't hear her. <laughs> no, I'm saying it anyways. <laughs> He's just naturally <laughs> saying that out. I'm built like a mountain. Dwarfs have always been a uh, peculiar race among our collective, but they are trustworthy, dependable, and extremely strong. You're forgetting drunk. Well, you see, in our culture, we just always assume they are drunk. So it always just seems redundant to mention it. Ah. Again, let's take a break. I need a drink. Already? We haven't even started yet. I know. Uh. A sober dwarf is generally a cause of concern. So also, a, an, also an oxymoron. If he's sober, he's drunk. If he's drunk, he's sober. More or less. Odd races you have here. Well, we're an interesting bunch. That's why it feels like it'd be such a shame to have us all eliminated from the planet. Yes, that. Well, you could always jump ship with us. There are other planes besides these besides these two. Yes, but I like my horns. You'd keep your horns. We'd just take your part of your world with us the next time we er, if we had to move again. That's a very open-ended thing to say that I can't quite grasp all at once right now. What do you mean? That's actually a very interesting scenario that might happen if we fail. That you relocate. And it was brought up rather casually. <laughs> it's ca They've done it once before. It's not like they can't do it again. <laughs> I know. Way, we can take your world with us. The not all of it, no. <laughs> the situation being presented to us makes it a bit different. Now that you say it, yes, yes, you, we could do all that. It's an option I wouldn't like to make. It's just basically preventing an, the, in, the inevitable in another area. Or in another plane. Odd races, and she's talking to a devil. <laughs> <laughs> she has horns. They both have horns. And tails. Well, just less hairy. And they both mm. like the fuck. So we like this is like a, a skinned Valhai or whatever. Val hairless, called. hairless Val. Uh, Val yeah. she, she shaves. <laughs> <laughs> she saves. She saves. For, uh, pfft, never mind. I'm not gonna even finish that sentence. Congratulations. <clears throat> oh, you got tongue-tied thinking about me shaving. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Ooh. you got tongue-tied thinking of Chris shaving. <laughs> I got nothing to say to that. Of course you don't. About it, uh, okay, are you guys actually going to spar each with, each with each other, or are you guys just going to say you did? We can go to first blood anyways. Again, alright, whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, let me move the tokens. One, two, you guys are gonna be fighting. God damn it. Right there. We're just gonna be standing right next to each other, pretty much so. There you go. I think you're going to beat my initiative. You shall see. Well, it counts as an ally. You get a bonus. Nope. Oh, He's not an ally at the moment. But, uh, yeah. Alright, Stormhammer, give me your best shot. Do -do. And then I'm going to use... Where's my powers? Uh... I'm gonna use Howl of Fury. This is against the old AC. This is with plus 13. Uh, 
No, no, not quite. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, uh, I'll shift back one. It's my move action, minor action, activate Promise of Storm, and Arc Lightning. Why don't you just daily his ass and get it over with? <laughs> ah, it seems like overkill. 24 versus your reflex. Your head. <laughs> All right. Um, plus promise of storm. Uh, that's another eight. Actually, it's actually 25 because I have elemental echo now. Um, so that is 25 lightning damage to you. I'm down to 49 HP. Take a step. And because you didn't daily, I will. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to use... Crit fail, crit fail, crit yeah. fail, crit fail, crit fail, crit fail. I'm going to use Thunderhoof's Rage. This is against the AC. I have yet to hit with any of my dailies. No! And the streak continues. <laughs> What's my half damage? Uh, or does it have one? Thunderhoof's doesn't have... You, yeah, actually it does. Most dailies do. Yeah. <sighs> Crit fail, crit fail, crit fail, crit fail. Not 300 D10s, 3 D10. 25. Half of that? Yes. You take 12 damage. I will win this. I'm going, I'm going to use my fucking action point. Okay. I will hit with something. No, yeah. I will not! You hear Sail laughing from the balcony that's overlooking the deck. This shit will end. <laughs> oh man. Should just have thrown that dailies. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm just gonna melee basic you at this point. <laughs> it is my lightning sword, so it does still do lightning damage, I believe. Yes. Yes. Thirty six versus your AC. God damn it! <laughs> I rolled a 19. And because it's a lightning attack, I still get Promise of Storm. <laughs> so, wow. 21 That's, damage. Uh, 21 that... lightning and thunder damage. That does it. Yeah, I'm bloodied. <laughs> Good match. Good match. Pwned. And I'm, I'm still um, being cautious of you, because I know what you pulled last time. <laughs> I'm walking off to the edge of the ship, and I'm going to swing my hammer very angrily at the air. <laughs> Are you swinging it over the side of the ship for some reason? He's swinging it up in the air like a little baby. With a rattle. Oh, no. Because, you see, if I had hit, it would have done 28 points of damage. That would have blooded me. Remember, remember, one of these days you will roll a 20. It will happen. <laughs> That would be the best shit. day. And on that day, you will roll a ones on your crit dice. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm done humiliating myself. Probably a good idea. I don't like how the half the tokens show up, half the other ones don't. Uh, Right-click on the airship and go move to back. Uh, uh, range, uh, send to back. There we go. Okay. As you guys continue your shenanigans for a while, well, that's a couple hours past, and you're about. Shell. Day slowly starts to turn to night. Uh, Waylon, you start hearing whispering. Ooh. <laughs> Helen starts to hear your voices again and inside of his head. Uh, are they quiet voices? Are they actually saying things, or is it just whispering at this point? You just hear um, Manic whispering about, but you hear your name every once in a while coming up like they're talking about you, not to you. You know, you know I can hear you, right? Do you hear a, a, they, them get a little quieter and then go back to the same volume they were at? Uh, I'm just going to sit there with a smile on my face until they get louder. They are not playing Ghost Tag. They will one of these days. You're going to die and invent ghost tag in heaven, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that was just the best day. <laughs> you, you're like, I want to die now. <laughs> Here, let me just jump off the side of the ship. That will totally go over well. 
Arden cho greatly chose his best champion as he suicides <laughs> to teach Ghost Tag. Yes. <clears throat> you probably wouldn't make it. Be sent to hell or something. Oh. Uh, the voice sl slowly start to get louder as the ship seems to uh, lunge drastically to the uh, to the south and become begin a slow descent. Uh, where's everybody at this moment? I think I'm still up on the deck. Okay. Sulking. It's it's becoming it's becoming uh, evening, so probably about eight p.m. Or actually, it's well into the evening, so eight between eight and nine p.m. Back in the war room. As long as no no more dwarves interrupt me. Well, Quiet. <laughs> on the deck now, wondering why we're heading south. That's it. Okay, fine. I don't know if anybody else is going to be anywhere else, but okay. <clears throat> you hear a bunch of commotion going on in the ship. As uh, the sails seem to be pointed in the wrong direction for which direction they're actually going in. Uh, the winds catching them, they're bowing greatly the, the masts un uh, underneath the ship. As, it's, as it continues its slow descent. The other, uh, the workers on the boat frantically trying to bring down the sails. To keep them from ripping, uh, ripping and the actual mass from breaking. Um, if I'm on the deck, I'll try and help. I'll ask if I can do anything for them. They pretty much hand you a rope and tell you to stand still. Alright. Well, and pull. I do. I try to help as well. What? Okay, there we go. No, it doesn't count for anything. Yes, it does. <clears throat> Waylon, you're you're uh, you're still hearing the the voices uh, becoming louder and louder as as the ship continues to uh, slowly descend. Hey guys. They don't directly answer to hey guys. Oh, but do they actually say that to me? <laughs> what they don't ag answer to hey guys. Yes. No, they don't tell you that. <laughs> um, hello. They all—all all you hear is a, a light whisper, a uh, collective whisper of "Welcome home." That's dark and ominous. <laughs> My home's in Freeport. Are we there? <laughs> the ship makes a uh, a very soft actual landing. In the uh, f the forest north, uh, just north of the actual weeping well itself. There's still chaos going on uh, on the bridge or on the actual deck of the ship, as Seo descends the stairs uh, from the captain's quarters onto the deck, with a rather confused look on her face. You see the the uh, captain, the pilot of the ship, run up beside her and start adamantly uh, denying that he was the cause of where uh, of the ship's actual positioning. She looks rather frustrated at this moment. I'm still helping with whoever needs help on the deck. Yeah, it doesn't take long for you guys to secure the sails after the ship's landed. Uh, it takes probably about 20, 25 minutes to fold up the sails and uh, make sure that nothing's uh, catching into them. Mm -hmm. Waylon, Are we fully landed now? or Yes. Uh, Waylon, you, start, you, you feel yourself like you're being drawn off, like you want to leave the ship and uh, go... To uh, to something that's pulling you south. Uh, why not? I will totally follow these warnings and try to start getting off the ship. You can make your way off the ship with the commotion that's going on. It right now, you could be uh, very make it off unseen, even without a stealth check. 
really should let people know I'm going, but why not? This will be wacky. Oh, dear God. <laughs> You're actually going by yourself? I have the best ideas. Why not? Oh, shit. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A natural perception of 20? Does that help any? You're not trying to look for him. Your passive. What's your passive, 20? Yeah, 20. Uh, I'm not trying to be sneaky. I I'm just sort of just walking off. Yeah, but he's actually got negative to the actual commotion that's going on this ship if you yeah. actually spot him. Also uh, working on helping. Yeah, you're you're actually yeah, just not looking towards him. Well, Wayland's fucked. Okay, wait, wait. Before I sneak <laughs> off, I'll tell you what. Before I sneak off, I'll write a note saying, "Hey, going south." <laughs> I'm so descriptive. <laughs> You're just right going. Voices in my head tell me to go south. I'm gonna go south. It's worked for me well so far. And I'll just, like, tape it to my door. Actually, no, I think I have a way for them to find out you're leaving. Because uh, the, okay. the, the plank wouldn't be down. You'd have to do that yourself. Or you'd jump off the boat, which would probably break your legs. But <laughs> I think I'll take the plank. I think I'm not that retarded. Okay, uh, you make your way onto the deck. Uh, I'm going to need... Uh, are you going to try and uh, manual operate the plank yourself, or are you going to have somebody do it for you? It's a simple mechanism you believe you can operate yourself. I'll operate it myself. Okay, give me a strength check. <sighs> you know my one weakness. <laughs> Actually, intelligence checks are my one weakness. My strength checks just suck. Well, I already know your intelligence is a weakness. You were going to go out on this on your own. <laughs> Nineteen. That's actually good enough. <laughs> Damn it. Little man with bony arms. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Motivation is giving him strength. Wouldn't anyone notice this scrawny little guy? The, uh, hold on, I'm like, gonna get there. The, uh, him operating, uh, he's still struggling because he just barely makes it. Uh, he struggles with it. You can hear a f a f uh, there are a few grunts going on, but then again, you're between the yelling of the ship. That's something you're not might you might not be able to pick up on. The uh, also the crank itself and the plank make a large thud as the uh, as the plank hits the ground, and uh, you hear uh, what's it, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a grinding noise as the uh, tr uh, crank is turned to release the plank. Perception, Scott. Perception. Perception. Yep. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> you do not hear a thing from that. <laughs> what is it? The other guy, Storm Hammer. Who, el who else is on the deck? What I'm there. On the deck? Can you roll a perception? I can I'm... roll one. Oh, dear God. Uh... Please spot him. Please spot him. Uh, let's see. Moment of truth. How drunk are you? Nineteen. Um. Sure. Yes. <laughs> that is good enough to spot Waylon. <laughs> you see, uh, what you see is pretty much Waylon descending the plank. I'm gonna turn to Palos and be like. What's the skinny one going? Skinny one. Yeah, the skinny one. The one who's like all about ardent and killing and stuff. Going where? The mentally Wait. retarded. I don't know. It just went down the plank. I'll go over to the side of the boat and like, I'll just yell, Hallam, what, where, where are you going? South. <laughs> Hallam. More description. <laughs> I don't know. I'm told to go south. Stop. One second. Oh. Okay. okay. Get, get on the back on the boat because what? <laughs> but south. Is but, it those voices again? Yeah. At least I think it's them. Uh, they sound different this time. They won't talk to me. Get on the boat. That's. Alexis in on this. At least she knows about the voices. Fine. Thank you. Um. You feel the pull get slightly uh, less as strong. 
uh, if you if, weaker. What the fuck? Why couldn't I think of the word weaker for a second? You feel you get weaker as you turn your back and start walking back up the game plank, uh, the plank. That that seems like the opposite of how pulling works. <laughs> that is fine. Uh, Alexis, where are you? Uh, I'm on the bridge. Okay, so you why not? Should have said something. I would have made you roll a perception check to find him too. Uh, I thought the bridge was different from the deck. Oh, the 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 bridge overlooks the deck. Okay. So yeah, you I was up there trying to be as not in the way as possible. You would have actually probably had the best view of seeing Waylon leave. <laughs> oh. Okay. You <laughs> want me to roll now after it's completely pointless? Uh, well, you could. Yeah, roll it anyway. Uh, where the fuck's my perception? Boom! Nine. Oh wow. <laughs> Wow, you <laughs> you stare at the uh, the balloon. See, the if bucket. not for Stormhammer, this shit would have not gone down well. <laughs> Technically, Stormhammer, you failed by one, but still. <laughs> I like to note, I am not the party's uh, eyes and ears. I know, right? I know. I am. No, eyes and no, ears our, our party's eyes and ears are trying to sneak off stealthily. <laughs> no, he did not. No, no, if I wanted to sneak away, I would have rolled stealth checks. And he would have I beaten mean, all no. of you. <laughs> Yeah. And that would have been a really bad experience. God. I, I would have had to use my of flesh and bones. Uh, message to him of, uh, where the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, well. So, uh, Paleth, uh, Paleth, you're able to see Alexis from the deck. You can see All her right. up on the bridge, uh, looking at the balloon for some reason. Staring off into nowhere. Good. Sorry for party rocking. That's a pretty balloon. <laughs> I want one. How do I get her? Why do I smell cheese? <laughs> I should get grilled cheese sandwich. I haven't had that in a real time. All right. I, I, I suppose I'll just take Hallam up to Alexis. Okay. To the bridge because yeah, there's a, a large stairway that takes you straight up to where, yeah. uh, where that is. I'll follow. Um, Alexis... Yes. The voices are back again, and for some reason, Helen just tried to leave us because of them. Temporarily. I'm sorry. <laughs> the like he <laughs> was controlled into leaving, or the voices just said go, and Hallam said okay. <laughs> <laughs> the latter. I'm pretty sure it's the latter. I don't know which to be happier by. Both of them were men as joke answers. Um, <laughs> why do you feel compelled to head south? Or, uh, sorry, or, uh, leave? Did the well, well, voices mention anything particular? Uh, they said south, and welcome home. But um, as, as the chosen one of Arden, I feel I should be listening to what the servants of Arden, I believe is what they call themselves. Uh, Herald. Heralds of Arden say, and they say go south. Yeah, but you should really get more than just you. You're kind of squishy. squishy. Eh, I'll be fine. Mm, yeah, nothing during do, do you remember the game? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, Chris. <laughs> Do you actually say that as as Alexis? Yes. Oh, he kind of has <laughs> enough nerves. To, yeah. It's right. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's strange. I I want to be a bit baffled by the logic of this, but considering what happened in Arden City, I actually think this isn't a bad course of action for you to take. Though I do agree that going alone is very dangerous, considering the circumstances we're in. Oh, thank God. Well, I, I didn't want to bother anyone if. If anyone wants to come with me, I'd be more than glad to have them follow me, I guess. That's up to who wants to follow along with you. Uh, Gettin's going to walk in at this point, so, so, oh, so what happened in the dark shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit confused of what's going on with our ship, though. It's quite... Ooh, ooh. Maybe the ghost did it. <laughs> oh, God. I kind of like face Paul. <laughs> Not an impossibility, 
but I would like to know what is happening in general before even worrying about a cause. I don't know, maybe the ghost threw themselves in the end on things. <laughs> now you baffle me with your idiocy. <laughs> you had a good streak going. Oh. No, and seriously, you fucked this. what the fuck is going on with the ship? Does anyone know? Uh, you guys can still see uh, Saya down there, kind of just pissed off beyond all belief. She's cute when she's angry. Also terrifying. Why don't you go down and say that to her? I'm going to do that. Oh, God. I'm going to grab you by the shoulder and say, no, you really don't want to. <laughs> Unless you oh. want to remove the but hammer I, I've been reading all name. these first aid books. I really wanted to practice on someone. Okay. Who's a trained medic? By the way, um, Redfield is on the ship. <laughs> Thank He's you. just magically there. <laughs> I we completely forgot he was in Ardent City, <laughs> but hey, yeah, he's just been following us around. He's on the ship. Gar, I'm here too. Gar, <laughs> what's wrong with you, boat? Yeah, I'm going to head down and uh, go up to say and say, "What's the issue with the ship? The damn thing won't start. The engine shut down, or yes." Our engineers have no clue what's going wrong. What's going wrong? Good thing we didn't fall out of the sky then. So we're landing rather abruptly then. It seems until we can figure out the mechanical problems that we are having currently with our engines. At current diagnostics, it looks like there is nothing wrong with our engines. Oh, Except they the were ghosts totally threw themselves into the gears. I'm. I am. That's what happened. I hate to ask this, but do you have any long-range communication device we could use to stay in contact with you? Oh, do I? I speak with one of my engineers. Uh, I believe we do. Well, then, I uh, believe, as strange and as unexpected as this incident is, it may help us at least uh, pursue another task that has befallen us. One that requires to leave the ship, which is why I'm looking for a communication device. Redfield, yar, I have a communicator. Oh, of course you do. Redfield. Yes. What communication device do you have? Yelling really loud. That's actually oh. not a device. Ah. Yeah. That's a I've verb. I've been sadly mistaken. Devices are generally nouns. Oh. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. What is a noun? Well, Dr. Redfield, thank you very much for your input. Ah, glad life can be a service. You are absolutely none. Where are the engineers right now who are <laughs> not too busy that we might be able to procure a device? Every last engineer we have is in the uh, the the engine room. Well, I will stop by then and... We will stay in contact if you can give us any updates on what may have, have happened. Ritual. Yeah, I know he does, but sending ritual only does 25 words at a time and takes time to cast. Okay. This is the motherfucking future. I want a walkie-talkie. I want a fucking <laughs> cell phone. I want a goddamn iPhone. I am so not I'm giving you an iPhone. Bitch. I am not giving you an iPhone unless I make you guys pay outrageous um, amounts for it, only to have it be out of date uh, six weeks later. That's fine. You know what? For that one, that six weeks, we get to fucking text Saya and be like, yo, what's up, girl? I'm playing fucking Sudoku and calling you. <laughs> I'm going to be sending her lazy sex messages Australia. all the fucking time. Yes, who's going to be sexting with Saya? Okay. Oh, everyone is. <laughs> I totally will be. <laughs> Let's be completely honest. <laughs> everyone would be, and then blame it on Stormhammer. You find the engine room, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I saw a gift that made me laugh really hard. Oh, God. <laughs> the dog falls right in the hole. Do I even <laughs> want to know? Blanket, Chris. Hold on. I have to get it. There you go. <laughs> Baby. I don't know why it just makes me laugh so much. So, oh. To the fuck? <laughs> Fuck you and your entire family. <laughs> Gar 
scarred for life. I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. I fucking hate pugs. I think that's why I find it so amusing. Sorry, continue. Oh, is that fucking ball? Ah! <laughs> There's actually a longer version of that. That's actually a little bit funnier because you see his feet kicking up uh, <laughs> as his head stuck in the water. He probably drowned and died because of it. <laughs> the one's recording it, so he must have been fine. Unless they planned that to happen. Oh, it looks adorable until he drowns. You find the engineering room. You see uh, at least three engineers working frantically over the engine. Uh, does anyone seem to be in charge? At the moment, uh, it's chaos. You can't pick out somebody who would be in charge. Hmm. Do any of us have any idea how en these engines work? I asked to the party. You're not there for the engine, but okay. We're just here to try to find a communication device. I don't think we're going to be able to solve the problem if several of the Val Valrise best engineers can't figure it out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to find the uh, closest engineer. Yes. Uh, push up my rack a little bit. Oh, God. And, uh, uh, excuse me. He does not answer. He seems to be... Uh, having his full attention on what he's doing right now. Is all right. Um your tits are doing nothing. No, no that was what I was about to ask. Uh, <laughs> I want to do a engineering check to f see if I can figure out what he's doing. That was terrible. Can I no. take a 10? Can I take a 10? What's your 10? <laughs> that the 10 would be 24. Uh even with that you still have no idea what the hell they're doing. I only all I'm trying to decipher is whether or not he's doing something extremely dangerous. No, I don't believe he is. No, I'm going to touch him very lightly on the shoulder. Uh, he does not react to that either. Engineering, you have to be trained in to make the check for. But yes, I mean it, it is an intelligence-based check, like Arcana. The light tap is something he does not uh, does not, res does not respond to. I'm going to just check around to see if there's anyone who seems less focused. Uh, they seem about the same. Alright, then I'm going to uh, slide my hand down his arm and try to uh, clasp the t the, um, I don't know, what the the opposite of the palm, the other back of his hand. That's it. <laughs> oh, Chris. You're adorable. Okay, um... Don't blame me. I I can't think of words sometimes. It scares me. <laughs> Remember, you couldn't think of weaker earlier. Yes, I couldn't think of weaker. <clears throat> yeah, as you do that, he kind of looks over, uh, looks over, and uh, takes you in for a second. And just goes, "What woman?" I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, I was told by Saya to come down here and see if you, any of you have a long-range communication device that we could use to stay in contact with the ship. He sighs, walks over to a workbench, pulls uh, and pulls something out. Uh, Tyler, you ex you uh, you recognize this? It's the uh, recording device that you have on you. You see him clap on, uh, kind of like slide in a uh, an extra like like a uh, little module onto it. Takes the one from uh, Malik's belt and uh, does the same to that one. And he throws you the secondary one. Both of you are able to contact the ship now. Is that all? Yes, thank you very much. I apologize for. Uh... Interrupting your work. You get no response as he turns back to the sh uh, back to the engine. Well, I got what I wanted. So we head out looking for ghosts. <laughs> Ghost hunters. Well, I'm a pretty sure the ghosts ghost. are in our engine. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Try yelling for them. See if they show up. Actually, is the whispering still going on, or have they just been completely silent? Uh, no, they're still going on. Uh, you hear, it's, it sounds like they're having a conversation amongst themselves about you, uh, but you are unable to figure out what that conversation is. But I Jerks, they're gossiping about me. 
I'll probably figure out some way to kill you. What was that, Tyler? I, I guess and I can understand it. No. no or it's just too much. It's in my head. It's, it's in his head. He is the only one who's hearing him now. Oh, hey I'm guys. sorry. I, I thought... Yeah, no. Hey, guys. Um, are, are you in our engines? You do not get a response from that question. <sighs> They're being difficult. Mm. The voices in your head are being difficult. Yeah, it's, it's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I know, right? It's like you're trying to have a conversation and just there's no good responses. I hate when that happens. We're kindred spirits. We totally are. I guess you have a pillow fight now. Weird. <laughs> Get in your pajamas, your feety pajamas, and have a pillow fight. The adorable Waylon uh, Hallam would break his arms trying to swing a pillow. <laughs> God, he'd hit me with a pillow and I'd explode. I just, I, pillow. <laughs> I just explode. My poor little ribs. So where would you guys head off? Uh, are you guys heading off off the ship now? I'm ready to head south. I'd be following, even though I don't like these voices. Alright, tell me again what we're doing. We're going south. And why? Because the voices in my head tell me to. <laughs> my, my question stands. <laughs> it, these voices are from something of Arden. We heard them on our way to Arden City. But for some reason, they're only talking to Hallam right now. Actually, you know or, the reason why. Huh? You know, already know the reason why. So, Arden speaks to Hallam. Essentially right now. Oh, actually, they're apparently not speaking to him, but about him. He didn't tell you that. No, well, God's he's, not getting, he's not getting a response, ways, so... I did say they were gossiping about me. He said, he said the, the, the heralds were gossiping about him. He didn't say the god was, the heralds were. Sure. And I'm pretty sure they're jamming ourselves in our engines so we can't go anyplace. For Christ's sake, Hallam, no they're not. <laughs> oh. You know what would be worse, Alexis? Is if everything after this is sorted out, the engines work perfectly fine. Oh no, like that's not a possibility that that's going to happen. <laughs> I'd welcome uh. it, as long as they don't find ghost corpses in there. <laughs> as though the ghosts ghost suicide bomb into engines to try to get our attention. <laughs> suicide bomber ghosts. Uh. Suicide bomber ghosts. That's a new one, I haven't heard of that. Uh. Alright, let's get this over with so I can wake up and do something productive. Okay. I imagine this is productive, it's... Arden's heralds are asking me to do it. It's totally productive. I think we have a different idea of what productive means. But, you know, I'll tag along anyway. This seems interesting. Awesome. <laughs> you guys make your way off the ship. <coughs> you guys are just on the outside of a dense forest. Chris, what, what are you linking now? It's funny. No, no, it cannot. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally why. That's totally how I imagine Storm ever when he's like totally drunk. <laughs> that's why I was trying to pick up Saya. <laughs> hey, let me hey show there, you my uh, You guys make it off the boat. Uh, it's actually in a clearing in front of a very dense forest, so you guys are effectively. Right, ciao. Okay. Hopefully you guys all saw that. Yes. Yes, I did. It's relatively a uh, little bit closer into the night. Uh, it's pitch black outside. Uh, the only light that you're getting is actually the moon given, or the light given off from the moon and stars. Oh. <clears throat> it looks like a very nice, pretty night, though. Calm. Slight wind. Slight Mild. wind, my ass! 
mild, uh, it's probably in the 70s, low 70s. Uh, you guys slowly start making your way south, and uh, how are you guys going to go about through the forest, or what? I think we'll, those people want to wait for daylight for forest trekking. Nah, it's totally safe. We just keep walking straight on into the night. That sounds like a terrible idea. Helen, oh. you feel the uh, urge to keep going forward, getting stronger as you keep going closer or uh, farther south? And the voices get louder. They keep, say, they, they keep tugging me in this direction. Hang on, I'm going to tie myself to a tree so we don't go, go any farther. Are you really tying yourself to a tree? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Time to storm hammer. You, you know, he did almost leave the boat. I think tying him to a tree would actually be useful. <laughs> it might actually be beneficial. Uh, what time of night is it? Uh, 10, 11, between 10 and 11. So, there's plenty of light night left. We should just camp and start when we have light. Okay. Yeah, best idea. Uh, watch order. Uh, who's going to be awake? At Who still needs to sleep? We got two trancers, so. I'll sleep so I get my action point back. Okay. Uh, during the, let's say, second watch, it'll be 3 a.m. About uh, who's on second watch, or who's awake on second watch? Uh, just the transfers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you see a very dense fog starting to roll in. Okay. Is that enough of a tip to wake me up, to get me out of trance and to start kicking people awake? You're already awake, I thought. Well, it's trance, so technically you're, I... You're, you're aware of everything while you're in trance. Yes, you, fe you feel the fog creeping up on you and you come out of trance. I'm going to start... If it's making me nervous enough to wake up, I'm going to start waking people up. And Paleth will just be kind of standing around like, it's fog. It it's making me nervous. It's rather thick, but it's fog. I kind of checked the fog. 28. It's fog. It's fog. Go back to sleep. When we all get kidnapped by vampire ghosts, this is your fault. <laughs> what kind of ghosts are these? Those ghosts are suicide <laughs> ghosts, not the, like, fucking vampire ghosts. No, no, these are different ghosts. Oh, these are different ghosts. Okay. <laughs> that only come out in the uh, dense fogs. <laughs> yeah. They're fog ghosts. Fo okay. Fog vampire ghosts. And these ones fog also only talk ghosts. to Hallam. <laughs> yeah, they all only talk to me. But these ones have British accents, so you know which ones are which. Coincidentally, uh, Hallam, as the fog so rolls in, some... the voices oh, yeah. uh, start to uh, die out. Aww, they're going away. Oh, what a shame. The fog completely envelops your camp, and, uh, Hallam, you do not hear the voices anymore. At all. How What's far out in front of my face can I see? Yeah. Uh, about a foot. You, okay. have, you have no vision of your party members anymore. I I'm gonna try to wander back to where I woke up getting. Uh, you wander, and you wander for what seems to be a much longer time than you should have found it by now. Um... Guys, can, can I see anything or same can thing? We, can we hear anything? Mm, nope. I just yell out for the party. The, see, uh, hopefully, I, I cast else. light on my shield and I start summoning fire to try to burn off some of the fog around me. Anyway, uh, you get an extra foot and a half. Uh, it's not as effective as I had hoped it would be. Do we see the light in the fog? Nope. I suppose it's, it's actually... What's funny is I, I think some of you are still asleep now. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do, so I'll just be yelling, stand still, don't go off, Hallam, please. Hallam, you do not hear this. 
Tours. Neither does Gaddon. I figured. Oh, guys, guys, th this isn't funny anymore. Can anyone hear me? No responses. You guys hear that? No. Everyone calls for the sound of storm hammer snoring. <laughs> It's our lifeline back to the world. Mm, Chris, say, uh, <laughs> Chris, you suddenly, uh, your uh, Alexis, uh, while you're sleeping, you seem to. It seems to be like a, a disturbing type of sleep. Like, uh, uh, you're having a nightmare, and you, uh, you wake up during it, and immediately forget the nightmare, so I don't have to describe it. <laughs> I remember were vampire ghosts. Same thing with uh, Stormhammer. Nightmare, and you wake up. Ah! Oh god. I don't know what it was, but it was disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Malik, you same thing with you. Or, yeah, Malik, same thing with you. That is forget Guys! Hello! I'm going to um, I'm going to start trying to kind of check to see if I can figure out why none of us can hear one another. Sure. Or why I can't hear anything. Rather. Who decided to start Who's smoking? It? You get no response, Tyler. You're still asleep. Shut up. No, he woke up. Oh, okay. He had the same re same thing. Uh, yeah. Arcana? No, you have no idea why. Um. Uh, I'm going to try to get up to my feet. Yeah, you can get up to your feet. You, yeah, there's and nothing preventing you. I'm going to. I mean, can I still see and everything? Like my senses aren't removed. I just no. It it's like it's, it's your it's your how how far you can see is greatly reduced. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to clap my hands. Sure. Can I hear that? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, I'm going to go into my bag. And I'm going to take out my, uh... For all you know, yes. Uh, I'm going to take out my rope. Sure. I'm going to tie a knot at the end of it. And then I'm going to swing the remainder of it in a circle around me. The it moves the fog. Does it get caught in anything? No. Okay. Then I'm going to walk doing that same motion, then. Okay. Uh, you have to reset it every once in a while because uh, which way? Uh, which way does your character think she's walking? If it's fog and she just woke up, I don't think she has any idea what direction she's going in. I think she's just trying to go whatever way she stood up and straight. Okay. Um, are you trying to be perceptive, like uh, like any landmarks you might pass, like rocks or? If she can see anything like that, yeah, she's just trying to see if she can run into anything. Okay. Uh, during your during your trek of uh, spinning a rope, uh, you hit nothing. Okay. I'm gonna try to follow the rope back to where I was. You f you find your way back. Uh, I'm going to put the rope away and just sit there and wait because I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna sing a song while I wait. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. <laughs> For all of you moving, you feel like you're moving but not getting anywhere. It's like that staircase in Mario 64. It just keeps going and going. You guys have started to notice that you're actually passing the same landmarks over and over again as if you're going in a circle. But you know, you you know for a fact you are going straight. Are any of the landmarks in my case trees and or rocks? Yes. Uh, I think I'm gonna eventually, after walking and shouting for a bit, just place myself next to a tree, back to it, and sit down. Okay. I'm not getting anywhere. And, but I'm going to continue shouting, guys. Someone, anyone, please. You hear, don't like this anymore. Do you continue to get no responses back? I'm going to take the long-range communication device out. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to try to use into it. Uh, test. You are not getting a response from either Malik or the boat. All right, I'm going to put it away. Just get dressed for whatever inevitable fucking monster thing's going to come out. <laughs> this isn't good. Where's my suit of armor? <laughs> I don't have a suit of armor. I should probably put on pants. <laughs> <sighs> Try and put on pants one handed. Yeah, I guess she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hallam. Uh it seems like hours pass uh in this kind of dark and dark and haze, uh dark and fog, as you slowly start to see a, a light ahead of you. A very, very dim light. I figure at this point I've been shouting the entire time. Yes. Trying to find someone so I imagine my voice is pretty well fucked. <laughs> but I will start scrambling towards that light. Okay. And try uh, to go ahead. spit out me. Guys, someone. Hello. Scott, uh, yeah. you see something, something shimmering off in the distance. Shimmering? Shimmering. Uh, against my own action is like, hopefully that's someone... And I'll just cautiously move towards the shimmer. Sure. Dan, uh, as uh, are, have you stopped or you continue walking? Um, I think I was ever walking. I was just casting fire around to try to burn the fog off. Okay. Um, but I, I mean, if that's ineffective, I'll stop that. Yeah, that's on and, you're you're able to like remove some of the fog, but you're only gaining about a foot and a half extra. Not really worth the expenditure of magical energy. Uh, I must fight the fog. Yeah, I don't think so. Punch the darkness. The uh, I'll stop monster. casting fire and I'll start trying to like, sense any magic in the area. No, you don't. Well, I'm just going to stand there and wait for something to happen. Okay, you uh, for you you off uh, in the off of the distance. You uh you hear what seems to be a battle with uh, little light flashes that look like explosions. Uh, and cries start for help. Moving, I start moving cautiously in that direction. In the other direction? In, no, in that direction. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, you hear uh, familiar voices. Like um, you seem to hear uh, Thoral. And, ah, oh shit, what's the name of that kid that you're looking for? Tyler? I know, I'm blanking on it right now. Um, I think it was Roderick? No. It's some, no, it's something with an R, though. Uh, well, I'm, I'm you, sorry, I'm just having a complete blank on the family names I created. I have a sheet I can look up, but I'm too lazy to get up and get it. It's not important. Um, well, it kind of is, but that's fine. Uh, oh. You you hear his, you hear their their voices, and you start heading or uh, off in the distance. Where the fuck did I put that book? Brother, master. You, you don't hear replies back, but you continue to hear their voices in the distance. I quickly go after him. Chris. You hear, yes. uh, it seems to be children in duress. I'm going to grimace, but I'm going to stand up and try to follow whatever location the sound I'm hearing. Okay. Martin, you're the only one I haven't planned for. I just sit there and I sing. And a poker appears. <laughs> you're suddenly surrounded by doors. They have guns. <laughs> the doors are. It's my closed. worst nightmare. Actually, I think I'm. Uh, no wait. Uh. That that uh, what's that thing called that you had? And the pendant. Yeah. What color was the stone on it? I thought there was. It a, was like it was like a blood red ruby. Okay. Um, you're seeing a red color, like a uh, a red 
a red light coming off in the distance. I'm going to take a swig of my beer and follow it. Okay. <clears throat> now this is where we're going to get interesting. Introspective nightmares! <laughs> Awake nightmares. What? You guys wander the dis the wander the uh the the seems to be you guys f when you first felt st set off you guys were at the uh towards the edge of a f of a forest by everybody's logic that's in this in this party if they're continuing to go south they should have hit a forest by now but none of you have hit it yet and slowly you guys all come up upon uh the whatever whatever's been drawing you drawing you to this area uh, seems to dissipate as you start seeing stone walls uh, reach up out, out of the ground. And uh, you guys come face to face with uh, a large building with uh, circular stairs going up and two large front doors. Uh, Can we see, we each, see other? each other at this point? No. Huh. Does it look does natural the light information? Go away? Uh, one at a time, Waylon. Uh, does the light go away? Uh, but, uh, well, well, no, actually not for you. You can see it coming through the actual doors of the, uh, the building itself. Uh, Martin, what'd you say? Does these there look natural information, like they were carved? Yeah. Okay, so they don't look like they've been formed by magic or something? No. Okay. I'm gonna walk up the stairs, then. Okay. I'm, ju I'm just imagining this all being a dream now, anyway, so... Uh, you can slightly see a, a red glow coming from up underneath the uh, the floor, uh, uh, underneath the doors of the uh, building. Tyler, you hear the voices inside of it slightly. Scott, you see the shimmer coming through the through the cracks in the uh, in the walls and uh, door. <clears throat> Dan, you sound you, it sounds like the battle's happening inside of this building. And Chris, you hear the children in duress on the inside. I'm gonna try to go in. Yeah. Again, cautiously yeah. approach. Okay. The doors uh, easily swing open. Uh, no resistances. Uh, for the uh, type, for the how the age of the building looks, uh, this is something you sh you think shouldn't be possible. You think this should you know creak or have some kind of resistance to it for you trying to open it. But it opens up like it was uh, been taken care of for however long it's been there. And on the inside, um, I'm gonna do a. I, I gotta. I'm doing visual aid for this, so let's make player visible. I, I just want to say I don't go straight in. I That's actually fine. circle the building first. That's fine. Whoever circles the building finds out it's in the shape of a ha uh, half a sun. And there's no like windows or anything. Nope. It's just this one door. Yep. No, then I would cautiously approach as well. The fuck is this shit? <laughs> you Why say it with us? No. Oh, say uh. I don't know why I had her, but boop, move her off the side. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go down the line. How am I doing you last? All right. Uh, Scott. Yes. You pay left, you open the door, and, uh... You see an enormously large pile of money. My eyes kind of brighten, but then I go, wait, this is weird. And I'll kind of avoid the money and look around to see what else is in the room. Like, is there any other doorways or? Uh, from if, if you look around, uh, you actually see. <laughs> the sheet labeled gold. Yes. <laughs> you <laughs> see, you actually see a uh, Avon behind the actual pile of, of of gold. But you also feel uh, you're you know you're you're also your greed for the money to also pulling you towards it too. Uh, well, I'd rather go for Avon, so I'm still kind of awestruck by everything. Avon? 
she does not give you a response other than a smile. What not an it? evil smile, but like a like happy, yeah, yeah happy smile. <laughs> I'm just I'm still bewildered. Like, what? What is this place? It, it, how? You should not be here. You should still be in Freeport. She just still does not respond, but the smile still stays upon her face. They. She looks like she's never been sick before. That. Everything that's been going on recently has never affected her. She looks as if uh, she's never had a trouble in her life. That she looks perfectly happy with her with her life now. Well, I approach her and I just I, I know it seems weird, but I just kind of reach out and try to touch her on the arm or something to see if I can actually feel her. She feels physical. Can you say anything, Aiden? She gives you a very tight hug with uh, her hand on the back of your head, and do you kind of? She kind of feels like she kind of dissipates in your arms, and uh, the whole, <clears throat> the whole room, the the gold, the giant gold pile of gold, melts down and uh, seeps into the cracks of the floor, and completely disappears. Uh, you are by yourself in this room now, but the. Um, you see a light from outside, and you hear uh, <clears throat> the wind blowing through the, the wind blowing through the cracks, and you can see the sunlight coming uh, coming in through the roof. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> I know he's gonna do that too. Well, I just kind of stand there, like now holding empty air, just kind of sad, but I'm just like, oh, well, I'm actually gonna. Check around the rest of the room, if, see if there's anything else at all. Nope. You, no, just blank walls and everything. Yep. You see, um, well, uh, I can't say no. Uh, on the walls, there's carvings of it seems to be uh, angels' wings, and you actually see a rather large statue of Ardent right here. I, I just look at the statue. Voices are fucking with me, aren't they? <sighs> the head of the statue turns and, and looks at you directly into your eyes and says, You've chosen the right path. Now the statue is fucking with me. I, hello, Arden. Uh, the head turns back and looks at the door and uh, does not give a response back. Right. I'll be leaving now. Um, goodbye. I'd head out for the door. Uh, you head outside. You see a. You see that you're on an island in the middle of a lake. I turn back around to see if the building's still there. It is still there. But it does not look like it's in ruin anymore. Well, I will survey the area, see if I can't spot anything. No. You see no way onto the island or off of the island. The island is just big enough to hold the actual building itself. Crystal, uh, crystal blue waters, and you can sp and you can see the bottom. Well, I, I don't know what to do at this point. Uh, <laughs> I'll just guess I'll sit on like the bottom stair, trying to think of what the hell to do at this point. Sure. Do you want to know what you what happens if you chose the gold? I die. No. Uh, as you're digging through the gold, you find uh, Avon's dead body underneath it. Oh. That would be far worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did choose right. Yes, you did. <clears throat> okay. Uh, get in. Yes. yes. You uh, approach the doors. You hear the battle going on inside. <clears throat> what uh, do you do? Door, door opens easily? Oh, yeah. Uh, peek inside. You peek inside, and you see pretty much the entire landscape of uh, Stormcrest. Or Storm, uh, Stormguard. Stormguard. Storm something. Stormguard. Yes. 
it feels like the entire city is inside of this building. And there's a battle going on? Yep. Between... It's the exact same battle that you that you were ejected from. No. No, not again. Why? Why are you showing this to me? <clears throat> The the whole the whole battle seems to kind of fade except for, uh, fade uh, fade out a little bit, but certain parts seem to be highlighted, which is your fa uh, every one of your family members and their locations. I couldn't save them before. Are you telling me I should try now? It's too late. All I can do is avenge them. You see. Everything that's that's happened before, as your par as your parents disappear from view and your uh, brother and sister disappear from view, the whole the whole facade drops down and you see the uh, the the actual room itself, and you see two figures. Actually, no, it was three. Was it three? Yeah. You see three figures with their backs to you. Uh, kneeling down on the ground. <clears throat> I'll approach them. They slowly raise up and turn to you, and you realize they are not your parents anymore. Uh, you, the, 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 you see the, that they are completely grotesque in nature. The, that, like, like the Delhi have taken them over? Or? Yes. Yes. That uh, there is nothing uh, human about them anymore. And they begin to advance towards you. Uh, uh, my worst nightmare. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I couldn't save you. All, all I can do now is... is put you to rest. And I'm gonna... Strike them down? Strike them with, strike them with lightning. Okay. <clears throat> Your lightning burst force, striking both of them, or all three of them fatally, as their bodies turn to ash and cra uh, crash to the floor. <clears throat> the f their ashes seep into the floor, and the room goes. Uh, the room starts uh, to brighten. You see the the whole detail. Uh, the whole details of this of this room. Uh, light starts to come in through the ceiling, and you start hearing the normal nature that's coming from outside. Uh, I'm incredibly distraught at this moment. That I'm uh, I'm just kind of at my wits' end. Like. Ugh. I uh, really didn't want to do that. Really, really didn't want to do that. Did you see the statue <clears throat> look down towards you and say, we must always be prepared for the things that are to come. Is there a purpose to this test? You get no response as it looks back and towards the door. I will do my, what must be done. The Del High will be stopped. And I'm getting out of here. Fuck this place. <laughs> Screw you, God. Yeah. Well, it worked. It's fine. I can sure. hear you people. What are you planning? Planning anything. I can back out. There was something about kicking. No, that's something they already did. Yeah. Oh. You just have boot shaped oh. fucking imprints all over your body. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of this one time. No, it doesn't. Let's go. Well, I, I could. I, can I not tell the story? I was just in a tavern, and you know, there was this lady, and I think a couple of horses were involved. No, no, I, I think we're good. Or was it a pony? I bet it was a pony. But seriously, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Sand, I like that. Sand does not uh, disagree. Uh, uh, hold on, 
Oh, I can see what Tyler's name. Oh, okay. Fuck that. You guys board the ship, and <clears throat> uh, who's going where? I need to know for future events. Uh, I'm going to go back on the ship. Of course you're going back know. on the ship. Uh, well, if if she's ship asking going? immediately what place we're going to... I uh, I, I want to know if like uh, if certain people are going to be with going to stay, you know, kind of like hang out, hang around where Say is going to be hanging out, or are you guys going to, like, uh, uh, Paleth, uh, I know you like to just sit on the deck and do nothing, um, get in your, like, I don't know where you would normally hang out, Hall Hallam's been normally on the deck... I usually hang out in the war room. Okay. Uh, I just want to know where you guys are actually going in endur an endurance, along with the hangover. Do, do, do. Well, I, I started drinking again, so it should dissipate soon. That's how you get rid of hangovers, man. You start drinking. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm doing fine. You're fine. I was hoping you crit fail, and then I had to roll a 1d20 to see if you throw up on Waylon. <laughs> oh. Can't you do it anyway? <laughs> DM, yeah. I well, he rolled too high for, for an endurance for that. Lame. He's got years of experience when it comes to drinking. I think he'll be fine. Okay, uh, Tyler, where are you going? Engineering. Uh, yeah. Engineering room. Okay, so the engine room. <clears throat> Man, you're like fucking Tally in Mass Effect, and no one ever enjoyed having to go all that fucking way. <laughs> I was about to say. Fine, Tally. Yeah. Everyone's always like, God, fucking Tally is bullshit. It's the fucking only one down there that you need to talk to. The most no. inconvenient fucking location. Fucking cunt whistle. Just doing some calibrations. <laughs> fucking Tally. All right. But she's so beautiful in that <laughs> one picture they stock photoed. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> the so picture. You, you actually get to see her face. No. You get to see a badly photoshopped stock photo of her face. Oh, that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, you guys yes. board the airship, and uh, as normal, it vibrates as it slowly rises into the air, and um, everybody kind of splits off to go their own uh, own separate ways. Uh. I'm forgetting names already. Uh, Alexis and Stormhammer keep with Saya as she goes up to the, uh, basically like the, uh, bridge. Handles it and shit mm. like that. Luck rolls. Oh, holy hell. I got a fantastic headache right now. Where's my character? The fuck am I? Oh, God, I'm dead. That's a good question. Where the hell am I? I can't even find myself. I, you guys are back on the other map. Okay. Uh, yeah. the like, why are we overworld gone? map. The overworld map. You guys are not on the, uh, what's it called, map anymore. The catacombs. Okay. The catacombs I, like, I moved off. I disappeared. Oh, shit. I, you don't have your token anymore, because I have it. <laughs> Yay, it's oh, It's good. I'm lucky today. Kind of. Copy. I'll have your token in a second. What say is luck roll? Say doesn't get a luck roll. She's not in combat anymore. There you go. Fritz luck rolls automatically passive. God, I've done a lot of weekly long recap episodes. If I did a <laughs> luck roll for the uh, sorry eighteen, she gets plus five because it's saving throw. <laughs> mm. Oh, so she matches mine. I don't know how to take that burp. Hmm. <clears throat> but yes, uh, as we left off, you guys have reached or uh, just exited the the cavern and are now on your way back to the ship. Who's dragging Stormhammer? Right, well, I'm crippled. So I have an excuse. I think we just kick him awake. I'm awake. Oh, hey, are I'm you sure? sure? We can kick you some more. Are you sure that's the healthiest way to wake someone? The the captain's quarters. The the captain's cabin. Yes. And she looks down at uh. Looks down at Eluxus and goes, "So, where do you think we should be headed next?" Well, if we can get in contact and find where that. Other dagger is closing the 
central portal and trend is obviously the best idea. If not, there are some people who we may want to look at the eliminating before they cause more problems for us. Uh, and those people might be who? There was a man by the name of Cormat and a mage by the name of uh, Marina May. They're thus far, uh, as we know... Crust. As we know, they're the only two people who have betrayed humanity in order to help the Valra or the Delhi. Help us? Why would they be helping us now? Um, I've already, I've already heard of this this Marina May. I haven't gotten a evil vibe from him just yet, but I have yet to meet him in person. Uh, one of our next destinations, was, uh, as as a race, were, was to Thundercrust. I can confirm firsthand his intentions. I will not tell you. The irony of the great evil is they're the best at hiding it. How oddly poetic. Sorry. Roll an intelligence check to see if you would even say that. Like fails if you return he's just like I'm gonna see if I can Go ahead. If there's no meeting, I'm on the deck, as he said. No, not te not exactly no meeting. Okay. Just I'm going to see if I can find someone who can teach me a bit about the um, the history of these people and well, you also have the your own you have your own MacGuffin with uh, Malik now. <laughs> uh, what? You have your own MacGuffin as far as that goes with Malik now. The, I don't. Yeah. Think he was here. Malik is now the, one of the Velry. Right? Oh yeah. Malik. All right, I haven't noticed that yet. <laughs> yes. Your perception well, is. Uh, I'm gonna learn about. I'm gonna learn their history and also learn more about how Saya came to came to power because that seems like an intriguing story. Okay, so you're following around Saya. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Chris, where are you going off to? Uh, I'll probably be tagging along behind, around, say, as general location as well. Okay. Uh, well, I'm kind of looking for a chance to talk to her. Okay. Uh, you're looking for, like, a one-on-one -on -one conversation? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Waylon? Uh, I'm just going to hold in my room, I think, just because typically on these airships I either get knocked over or water or vomited on. No, so you I'm get. Gonna... I don't think you've been vomited on on an airship yet. I, th I think true. you've been vomited on getting onto an airship. This is true. But either way, safest place seems to be my room right now. Okay. Does so any anybody's character feel sick at the moment? Not particularly. I got a beastly fortitude. I'm feeling fine. Actually, roll a fortitude check. I want to see how well you're holding your liquor right now. Endurance. And. Then. Yeah, run, uh, 